How you doing? Hey, hey Kenny, what's up? <laughs> uh, it's time. It is it, time. The way it is, he's, he's just a floating torso at this point. I mean, I don't look like I'm floating. I mean, I look like I'm cut off, but it is what it you is. Look like you look like you do right here, right? Yeah. Like uh, like get out, get out of my body! It's weird. Get out of me! <laughs> get out of me! <laughs> Uh, hey, if you're if you're if you're not watching this and you're listening to this on the old uh, MP3 area, nobody does that. But anyway, you don't know. Yeah, no, they do. We actually get some. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've been monitoring it. And if you do, uh, thank you. Hey, can you give us a review? I never say that, but whatever you listen to us on, can you give us a review? That'd be really dope. Thank you. Yes. Anyway, no, 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 no. Did you just say no? What? That'd be radical. Dope is also from the 80s. Dude, yeah, but you're not a 13 year old girl. You don't say dope. It would be bodacious. Say radical. It'd be bodacious. Well, there you go. Cue the intro. Gnarly is another good Gnarly one. Gnarly is another one. That is. Gnarly. Um, uh, Gnarly could be good or bad, though. Like, people, when they say sick, like, dude, you're sick. And it's like, what? I like, used to say sick no, all I mean, the time. Yeah. I still say that's sick. That's sick, bro. Also, I had a bike. No, my brother had a, a bike, a 20-inch regular you know, BMX-style bike, and it had <laughs> – you know how these the bikes used to have uh, – gnarly is a skating term, d Dubs. yeah. You know how uh, they had a uh, – the pads. Remember it had pads, Velcroed yeah. foam pads that you could – and you always rip them off because you're like, I'm not a wiener. I could, I don't need pads. Oh, and yeah, then, yeah. And then the first time that you – because you took your brakes off because you're an idiot, the first time you stopped short and you hit your throat on the front bar. Anyway – my brother had a bike, and it's hold on. It said totally no. It said utterly radical, or something with the cow, and it had a cow on it, nice. and it said like utterly radical or something. But because it had a cow, it was so stupid. It was like black. Oh, with utter. Like, yeah. Yeah, it was so dumb, man. I God, I love right. the '80s, man. Right. Oh shoot, yeah, this is back here still. Yeah. Didn't mean to have that there. That's okay. Surprise, we're doing. It's what we're doing. That's why they're here. We're doing another bracket. We're doing another bracket. If you didn't see our first bracket bracket tournament, go check it out. Um, So here's the thing. Kenny is is mastermind of this bracket because I'm not in the studio. So he's got to run it. And I'm going to be doing some thinking and talking. And it's going to be good times. Last week It's not going to be easy for him, man. What do you mean? It's not going to be easy. I'm just saying that. It's like the last one. You know, just but talk the last it out. One was super you, fun, no, I to liked be, it, man. I'm ready for it. You know, Let's roll. Um, two enter, one leaves. Like that. That's the way it is, right? Thunderdome. Two actors so, enter, and one does. Yes, and I understand female actor. I get it. But in the '80s, they were called actresses. So that's what we're going with here, because we're yeah. we're in the '80s. So I'll, don't mean to offend. Don't mean to. You know what I mean? We're calling them actresses, and, is what you you're know, saying. Yes, because I'm saying like there might be people who have an issue with that. I'm just saying that's that's the way it was, and that's the way it is now. It is Not what it is. Take anything away. Everybody's an actor. I get it. Yeah, uh, D Dubs. Right. I'm glad that you clarified that because I was gonna I was gonna make a comment. D Dubs said it can't be worse than last week than last yeah. one, but he meant that in a good way. I know you meant the that in a good version way. Version of it. So it was yeah, really so, good. All Let's right. do it. Let's roll. All, all right. So first two actresses. Actors. The first ones. Are you ready? Yeah, man. Let's. I'm, I'm you ready. are ready. Yeah. All right. So you, so you got here. Uh, uh, Basinger. Basinger. Okay. Oh, I can see over on that screen. Okay. Yeah. Basinger. Got it. Yeah. Basinger and uh, Sarah. Mia Sara. Mia Sara. Okay. Talk it out. Okay. Let's hear. You, let's hear how you get to that uh, decision. All right. Uh, Kim Basinger. You know what? You know what? Right? I just realized. What, what, what was she in? I just realized what we're doing. Yes. Like I'd actually done that. Like I knew what we were doing, but I have. To, I just remembered now that I have to actually do this. And which is which is kind of funny because this is probably the first episode we've done where the other knew what we were doing. This is true. Event. This is true. But you didn't okay. know any of the names. You don't know the names until I reveal them to you. No, no. Okay. So, all right. So, for those you don't know, so. you know who Kim Basinger is. For those you don't yeah. know, Mia Sara. Mia Sara is uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Legend. Legend. But I'm just saying, Ferris Bueller's Day Off yeah. is, is the one that they would most likely. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. And then she's... Kim Basinger, what, what else was she in? She was in Batman. Uh, You got Batman. You have... um. A movie with Alec Baldwin, probably. I don't remember. She was in um, Cool World. She was in... Ah, uh, yes. Cool. Yeah, just so much, okay? So <laughs> D-Dub says, well, it's Mia Sara then. Because he's just <laughs> he, all about Ferris Bueller, I guess, right? Oh, yeah. I should have worn my Save Ferris shirt. Damn it, I'm wearing stupid Star Wars. I Although know, I man. bet you Carrie Fisher's going to pop up, so... You never know. This is really weird. Whenever I raise my hand, I go gray. It's so weird. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, here's the thing. <laughs> 
He, he, That's all natural. Don't worry. Yeah. That, you know, look at mine. You don't go gray because you wait. You wait your hand up. <laughs> but you know what, though, Kenny? You might be a little older than me, but you're also copying me because I've had this gray way longer than you have. I know. It's, it's true. Yeah. Well, listen, when you get it up here along the yeah. sides of your head, then you can talk to me. Um, Sucks, man. I'm younger than you, and I went gray way before you. Damn it. All right. Uh, Basinger. So, damn it. All right, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I have a sweet spot for Mia Sarah. Like a yes, really dude. good sweet spot. And it's not for Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That was the first place I ever saw her. But okay. it started there. But then it went, you know, I probably saw her there first. Mm -hmm. What came first? Legend or? or... Oh, Legend. And I, I saw yeah. her in Legend first. Probably Legend. Probably. Either way. But what really gets me is Time Cop. Oh, yes. She was in Time Cop <laughs> as as. Jean-Claude Jean Van Dead's wife. Matthew Broderick and Tom Cruise. Yeah, so I don't know. So, all. But, but Basinger, but you listen, you can't deny Basinger. Right. She's, because she's, it's, a, she's that, an icon. She's a staple. Icon. That's definitely a staple. Yeah. Like, a, you know. Yeah. And Mia, Mia Sarah, I don't know what she's really done since, you know, the 80s or the, you know, 90s, mid to early 90s. But so, listen, Kenny, what, what, you've you. done, what you've done here is yeah. you've, you've the first uh, out... Out the gate, I'm gonna go with my with my heart and my gut. So I'm pushing Mia Sarah forward. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the um, the underdog. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Plus, I want to see forward. how well she does against someone else. <clears throat> which is which is fine. Because these these matchups right. are great. So <clears throat> your next two. Numero uno. Uh, Kidman, Nicole Kidman, gotcha. Yep. And. And Turner, Kathleen Turner. Yes. Not Tom Hanks from Turner and Hooch. So Nicole <laughs> Kidman and uh, Kathleen Turner. All right. Nicole Kidman. What was she in in the 80s? Because I feel like Days she was... Days of Thunder. That was 90s, though. Was, oh, that what? Eight, like Days 89. of Thunder was 80s. 89, like 88, 89. Days of Thunder was definitely 80s. Days of Thunder. Uh, that's where they met, isn't it? Eyes Rob wide Kidman. shut. Well, that was later on. Um, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I can't really think. But... There she is, and Kathleen Turner, Romancing the Stone. Um, yeah, oh, hold on. I I, I don't mean I don't mean to I don't mean to do this up. right in the middle of this, but yeah. um, you don't understand. There's a movie with Kathleen Turner, yeah, and Christopher Reeve, and Burt Reynolds. Okay. And it's called Broadcast. Oh yeah, yeah. News. Was it broadcast? It's just news? Called, I think it's just called broadcast. But it's with Christopher Reeve, and it's got, um, like I said, uh, 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 Burt Reynolds, and yeah. oh, two of them. Oh, they're not with us. Both of them. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, Kathleen Turner to me is an absolute staple. That voice, that oh, serial mom she was in. Um, she's just yeah. like I don't know, man. I I really like I like Kathleen Turner. When I was a kid, I think I wanted her to be my mom. I think I remember that. I think I remember that. <laughs> Is that you? You typed high? I typed high. I wasn't, I'm not getting anything, so I don't know if you're getting anything. Oh, I am, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, I'm not getting anything. You're not getting anything? Oh. That'll be good. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, uh, I'm oh. saying Kathleen Turner, man. Oh, yeah? I'm pushing her through. Yeah, I. did you hear okay. what I said before? I said I when, heard you when I was younger, I wanted her to be my mom for some yeah. reason. <laughs> but I don't know why. I think I just thought she'd be a cool mom. <laughs> Kathleen uh, Turner, all right. I right on, man. I love that okay. movie, man. All right, so moving on. <clears throat> All right, next. Who's next? Oh, we're going down we're below. Ranked. Everybody's ranked. All that stuff. So. Yeah, we're going down um, below. All right, so next. Next is Leah Thompson. She was coming. Okay. Yep. And Whoopi Goldberg. Oh man. New eighties staples. Damn, you really listen. You're really good at picking those, man. You're really good at picking those. Hey, man, they were really good at, at auditioning, <laughs> getting the jobs, and, and continuing to work back in the yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. Um, all, right. all right. I just... Um, all right. C c give me... Leah right. Thompson, right off the bat. Leah Howard Thompson. the Duck, man. Howard the Duck, Space Camp, Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. Right? One, two, three. Right? Yeah, I'm just I'm just thinking like that's a tough one. Whoopi Goldberg was, you know, she was in Ghost, she was in Sister Act movies, she was in uh, that movie with Ted Danson. Oh man, oh. <clears throat> there's two of them for you. That's rough. You could, man, you made you made some good 
You got some good. The thing is, they're you know, they're all not going to be easy choices, and then they just get harder as they go towards the center. Dang. You know what I mean? Hey, not only not not to not, not to derail, but since we're on Leah Thompson, if you guys didn't watch the Back to the Future reunion on Josh Gad's uh, YouTube channel, it's a must. It was so good. It was so good, man. Um, dang, dude. Yeah. What else was Whoopi Goldberg in? She was in a lot of stuff. <clears throat> I don't know. Man, this is a rough one. She was in Next Generation, wasn't she? Was oh, there? she was. Yeah. She she wore that big purple thing, didn't it? With the with the thing, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Star Trek: The Next Generation. Um, Kenny, I I, I do love me some Whoopi. Oh wait, Jumpin' Jack Flash. Jumpin' Jack Flash. Uh, that's right. Yeah. yeah being chased, we... right? She's being chased by mob people in that. I think. Or was she a cop in that one? I don't know. No, the mob was Sister Act. I think she. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Look, I I think I'm gonna have to push Leah Thompson through. Okay. Because of because of, she's just good. I just really. She was. She, she was in. Uh, she's really she was good. She was what? She was in everything. She was in everything. Yeah. Here's another thing. So. All right. What's next? <clears throat> what's next? All right. Uh, Carrie Fisher. Okay. So appropriate shirt and. And more. Demi, Demi Moore. Moore. I was going to say Julianne Moore. Demi. Demi. Demi Moore. Yeah. Carrie Fisher. <clears throat> Probably. I don't even know if you can see that at that point. But oh, man. Can you can slide it. Yeah. Slide it over a little yeah. bit. There you go. Oh, Kenny. Yep. So there you go. So, you know, Star Wars, uh, was it The Burbs? The Burbs she was in. Oddly enough, she wasn't in that much. She's yeah, she, really... She did a lot of screenwriting. Yeah, she 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 was an yeah. author. Yeah. Um, yeah, you Demi know, Moore. She wasn't Stand in a lot, far. but Demi Moore, though, Demi Moore was definitely... she in Stand Up Far? No, she was. Yes, she was. She was? I think she was. Yeah. Hey, Google, was Demi Moore in St. Elmo's Fire? <laughs> He'll tell me in a minute. Uh, oh, she didn't say anything to me. Nice. I'm surprised you didn't trigger all mine. Oh, yeah. Hey, Google, was Demi Moore in St. Elmo's Fire? Yes. Demi Moore plays Jules in St. Elmo's Fire. There you go. All right. There we go. You know, I have, I have so, a thing with... But a, Mrs., Mrs. Former Mrs. Willis. Miss, right. Um... I have a thing with a friend at work. You know how you know the theme song for St. Elmo's Fire is called St. Elmo's Fire, but it's Man in Motion. Yeah. And every time it's on, Yo, like Man it's like, in Motion. Yeah. Yeah. He's always like, "Oh, Man in Motion." I'm like, "No, it's St. Elmo's Fire." He's like, "No, it's Man in Motion." I'm like, "The title says St. Elmo's Fire, Man in Motion." So guess what? It's St. Elmo's Fire. He says it both in the song. Yeah. Anyway, um, a lot of times on singles, they've done that where the the title is something that people don't think, and it and something else gets repeated in the song, and that's what they look for. Right. Um, you know, I worked in a, a music store for a while, and you'd see it a lot on the album. It would be one thing, and then on the single, they'd actually have the title, and then in parentheses, right. they would say like what it, you know, what they say in the song or whatever yeah. like that, yeah. or what people think the song is called. So, Kenny, do you ever do you remember Kazaa? That's how I, I used to do Kazaa. If I didn't know what the song was, I just I type a word from the song and it oh, would come up. Oh, is that up. right? Yeah. Yeah, it would come up. It was weird. I used to, in Soul Seek too. I used to try and do that in Soul Seek. Mm. Um, anyway, uh, all right, listen, I'm gonna have to. I, Demi Moore is, I think, more of a staple. On, I think she's been in more things, and she was married to the man Bruce Willis. <laughs> we named one thing that she was in. What else? <laughs> oh, she was in Ghost. She was in um, oh, yeah. Indecent Proposal. She was in. Um, yeah. She and no, it's a shame. It's a shame that Tom, uh, Leah Thompson moved forward because it could have been a ghost showdown. Oh yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's true. Um, so. I may not be. Uh, hey, hey, Dig Dubs, if you're if you're still able to type type, I don't know. I'm not getting anything either right now. But if if anyone, if you're in chat, um, all right. What's next? What do we got next? All right, next. Mm -hmm. Bing, Bing, Bing. Uh, stop moving. I can't see. Ringwald, Molly, Ring Molly Ringwald. Anybody she goes up against is going to be a tough rough. one. That's rough. However, oh my you gosh. do have the uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh no! <laughs> mm. So should I again? 
Should like I, I said, they're not slide, easy. Man. Slide that over because I did move myself over, but right. I want to do it like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a... Oh man, so, Kenny, what are you yeah. doing? So <laughs> Holly Ringwald, uh, what was she in? Oh man, she was in uh, Sixteen Candles, Pretty in Pink, Breakfast Club. Oh, yep. Man, D Dubs. All right, yeah. I just I just got that. I haven't seen anything else you've been typing. I don't know. Um. Yeah, dude, she's a staple. She's just yeah. those movies alone, and then Michelle Pfeiffer, fabulous Baker's Returns. boy, fabulous Baker boys. What? Yeah, um, Batman Returns. She was in Batman Returns. She played Catwoman. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Twitch is bugging out. Okay. <laughs> well, my my battery backup just clicked over again. I don't know why it just has been doing that for weeks now. Um. What else is Michelle Pfeiffer? I can't even say her name. Michelle Pfeiffer. Ah, uh, man. It's up to you, man. You talk it out. I'm not here to tell you anything. She was in Dangerous Minds in the 90s. With oh. Co- with Coolio. <laughs> what the hell that was about. Yeah. I don't know. You tell me, man. Yeah, I mean, Michelle Pfeiffer was definitely, definitely in the 80s. But Ringwald, if we're yeah. going with, with, like, 80s staples, man. Yeah, I can't... Uh... I can't fault you for that. So you want to move her? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got to be Ringwald. Alia yeah. Ringwald. Moving on up. Yeah. Sorry, right. Michelle. All right. I don't have any so, notion of an actress being 80s, but Miley Ringwald got to do it for me. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, Stop tapping. Stop, man. <laughs> All, right. All right. What's next? Next. Next. What do you got? I knew she was coming. Uh, Meg Ryan. Meg okay. Ryan and. Meg Ryan versus Jamie Gertz. Oh, no. <laughs> Meg Ryan was in like everything oh, with Tom Hanks, right? Man, Joel versus yeah. a volcano. She was in Inner Space. Inner Space, and she was also in. She was in City of Angels with Nick Cage. Yeah, um, and Harry met Sally. Harry met Sally. Yeah. Salisbury Steak. <laughs> oh um, man, and Jamie then Gertz. Jamie Gertz. Don't tell her it's me. S- don't tell her it's me. <laughs> oh my oh, God, good one. Wish- she was in Solar she Babies. She was in Solar Baby. She was in Lost Boys. <laughs> yes. Oh man, she was in Still Standing in the 2000s with Mark Addy. That's a good show. Oh, Kathleen Turner was the voice of uh, Jessica, Jessica Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Well, it's a good thing that she moved forward then. Yeah. Dang it, Kenny. This is rough, man. I know. I know. Son of a bleedle blorp. <laughs> hey, play it. What's up, man? Player's guy hey, in the what's house. Going what's on? up, player? How you doing? We're doing a tournament bracket. Sounds so weird. I'm like, what's up, player? <laughs> Better than calling you hi, guide. You know, it's no. And player's yeah. guide. I just don't do full names. That's weird. Yep. Don't know how long you did in there, but uh... oh, thank you, thank you. It it sometimes it looks real good, and other times. But watch this though. I turn gray because <laughs> because my camera's on auto white balance, and if I don't have it on auto, it looks weird. Yeah. Anyway, oh, right geez. now we're looking at uh, Meg Ryan versus um, Jamie Gertz. Yeah, Meg Ryan, Jamie Gertz. Come on, man, Solar Babies. You think you think if they, you think Meg Ryan could play whatever game they played in Solar Babies? No, I don't think she could play with that orb. Oh, you know what? Roll it around a little bit. All right, can you think she was past that? Kenny, let me let me say some words about these these actresses, these wonderful ladies that acted. You, in. Yeah. Well, um, oh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say something. Also, uh, something to on the flip side. Okay. Could Jamie Gertz hang with Hanks or Crystal? Mm, no. You know what I mean? Could you see Jamie Gertz I mean, in in their space? No. She she could barely hang against uh... <laughs> Steve Gutenberg. <laughs> And don't tell yeah. her it's me. <laughs> what a good movie that was. <laughs> I saw that in the movie theater. Did you really? I'm so jealous. Yep. Oh, my God. Inner Space, yes. Of course she was in Inner Space. Yep. Here's, the, here's what's going to happen. I'm moving Meg Ryan. But okay. but, but you're really, going to acknowledge Jamie Gertz. I really do enjoy Jamie Gertz. But Meg Ryan is, you know what? You said it all. Could, could Gertz hang with Hanks? And I don't think so. No, she can't, right? Meg Ryan is so good. But, you know, Solar Babies, Don't Tell It to Me, and Lost Boys, those are some good movies, man. I'm going to go ahead and say, I don't think anybody up here starred with Schwarzenegger. I don't think spell. any of them. No. You know what's interesting, too, is I really kind of wanted to see Ringwald versus Meg Ryan. Boom! 
Yeah. That's gonna be that's, that's, that's a tough one, dude. All right, so next, who do we got next? Elizabeth next. Shue. Oh, dude, Leah Thompson, Elizabeth Shue, when they were when Jamie, they were Jamie together, Gertz. Uh, kind of yeah, check out. Don't check out. Don't tell her it's me. No, please watch, watch Solar don't Babe. Tell her if you haven't seen it, if you haven't done a marathon or a, or a um, what do, what do they call that? A back to back um, double feature double of feature. <laughs> Robot Jocks and Robot Solar Babies. Robot Jocks and Solar You're, Babies. Yes. You're missing out. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, hey, so, you can move it over oh, a little bit because I'm not going to move my camera over anymore because if you want to slide it towards you. Yeah. Towards me? Okay. Yes. So, yeah, a little Elizabeth bit. I'm Shue trying to get out of the way, but I don't want to. I'll be out of the frame then. And who is that? Phoebe, Phoebe Cates. Cates? Son of a. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, Adventures in Babysitting. Yeah, oh, there you man. go. All Got right, here's, kid. Here's, what's, here's what's happening. Yeah. You know what I just watched with Elizabeth Shue and Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man himself? I just watched Heart and Souls the other day. Okay. Yeah. Like last month I watched it. Yeah, you, no. you never seen the movie? No. Do you know you know what I'm talking about? It's got Keir no, Sedgwick. It's got Tom Sizemore. I know uh, what you're talking Charles about. Charles Grodin. I've never seen it. I've never and seen it. Alfred Woodard. Woodard. Anyway, it's a really fun movie. I like that movie a yeah. lot. Gotcha. Um, anyway. So we're talking, yeah. we're talking Elizabeth Shue versus... Cocktail? Uh, oh... That's right. right. She was in Cocktail. So she can hang with Cruz. Okay, hold on. Listen, we know Phoebe. We know we know Elizabeth Shue's yeah. pedigree. Phoebe Cates, however, yeah. Gremlins 1 and 2. Drop Dead Fred. Mm-hmm. Other things. Fast Times. Fast Times. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she was the original. Yes, thank you, Dubs. That's yeah. right. Original. That's right. That's right. Phoebe Cates, is a, she was really cute, man. She's super. She is super cute, man. I almost just cursed. That's how much I think she's cute. Well, I'm just. I'm just saying. Remember, this is this is actress. This no, no, I uh, get it. No, no, I get it. I'm just you know, saying. This if isn't anyone a looked biological good, makeup. Hey, wait. Side note. Side note. Bright lights, big city. That's right. That's right. Hey, Rancid, what's up? Oh, we're getting a full house tonight. <laughs> Rancid, hello. What's up, Rancid? Welcome back. Um, yeah, we're live streaming again. If you don't realize who we're talking to, we're talking to our friends in live stream. Um, yeah. IMDb. I yeah, mean, well, thank nice. you. We, we appreciate have, we that. appreciate you doing it, though. I, I have a question it's for tough everybody. To remember it on the spot, Kenny. I got a question for you. I got a question for I'm everybody. I'm a little nutty right now. Right. Listen, are you got you ready for this question? Ready for it. Um. Yeah. Welcome back, Rancid. Welcome back. Yeah. Um. Who wore, who wore the the short uh boy boycott better, Phoebe Cates or Demi Moore? Short boycott. Yeah. Oh, you know when it's short. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who wore it better? Yeah, I, I'd say I'd say Phoebe Cates. Why? Why? Cuter, cuter. Oh, than Demi, Demi, Moore? Demi Moore. Her voice annoys me. It's very raspy. Oh, really? Okay. I yeah. I think I'd I think. I would I would hate to hear her Remember and she Kathleen Turner in... have an argument. Basically, is what I'm yeah. saying. Oh God. Like that's just something that I wouldn't enjoy. Kathleen Turner would win. Yeah. All right. Um, no, I, I, I think Phoebe Cates too. I think she, yeah. she was better with that. Okay. But here's the thing. I'm going to move. Elizabeth Shue is, is moving okay. because I just feel like she's just, yeah, she's been in more Phoebe Cates has been in some good stuff, but yeah. Elizabeth Shue is, is just karate kid. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like gremlins, gremlins. karate kid. They're both, they're both yeah. pretty what good. What do you man. like better, Kenny? Tell me right now. Tell me right now. Definitively what? say. Gremlins or Karate Kid? Which one's better? Which one's better? Definitive. This is definitive. What you say now will go to your grave with you. I would say... It's well, going on your tombstone. Movie-wise, I'd say The Karate Kid. Yeah. Um, Gremlins, I don't feel like I could watch Gremlins over and over again. Or, I mean, I, I love the movie. Don't How get, old is you she? Know, she the, was young. She was, what, 18, 19? However... Um, the Karate Kid is just, oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's just something like, it doesn't have to be yeah. a certain time of year. You know, it's not like it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but Gremlins is good. Gremlins though. 2, though. Gremlins, I would, listen, I don't know you're not getting, do. listen. The Gremlins 2 is a different different breed. Favorite Gremlin in that is the Vegetable Gremlin. Bar none. And the Spider Gremlin. <laughs> I hated the Vegetable Gremlin. I loved it because I loved all no, the little the smart one. Baubles the, the on them. Tony Randall. Yeah. Gremlin. I have like the cat hair or something on me. They better not be remaking. I keep, I keep like seeing. Oh, well, you probably got a little cat whiskers on yourself. Yeah, yeah. And they better not be making gremlins. They're supposed to be remaking Scarface, too. 
All right, come on. We're almost yeah. done with the. We're almost done with the prelims. Wait, is this prelims? What did we say these were? Oh, this. I don't know. I don't know. Um, the anyway. No, they're, they're, anyway. Uh, Ryder. Um, Winona. Wait. Winona Ryder. Wow. Oh my God, I couldn't <laughs> think of that. Winona Ryder. Come on. Oh, how man. many? How many of these do you know? Ali Sheedy. Yep. I was waiting for her. All right. That's it. All right. That's it. That's it. That's the crew. So this is yeah. This is That's Beetlejuice versus War Games slash Short Circuit. Oh man. <laughs> Yes, you're, you're right, D-Dubs. Pacino Scarface was already a remake, so it's not like, you know, but so they're going to remake another remake, I know. But the Pacino's Scarface is the one that people know. They don't know the one from the 30s. No one cares about that, you know? <laughs> um, Dang you, bro. Winona Ryder versus Ali Sheedy. Dang it. Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands, <sighs> Bram Stoker's Dracula. This is rough, man. This is one of the toughest ones. Yeah. Because I love Ali Sheedy. Ali Sheedy. Breakfast War Games. Club, War Games, yeah. Short Circuit. Mm hmm. I remember Johnny Breakfast Club. being five and seeing Johnny Five. It was awesome. Hell yeah. Come on. Oh, God. I love it. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a while. I have to watch that. I know. We There's Short watch Circuit it. Games, too. They what? Short Circuit Games. We were talking about games. Oh, yeah. True. Old, old video games. And there are games based on uh, properties you would never even guess. There's a Short ah, well, Circuit Yeah, video we'll get game. to those. Don't worry. All right, I know. all right, all right. Winona Ryder, but Winona Ryder has just been in. She was in um, that one with Cher. What was that one called again? Uh, sure. Ready for Pachinko Scarface Crane Machine going on a drug fuel rampage. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Konami. Konami will make it. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, they will. No. Yeah. Um, um, haven't seen this in the probably five. Either. Yeah, yeah, they're so okay. good. Winona Ryder, Focus, and Ali Sheedy. And Ali Sheedy. Here's the thing, I I really love Ali Sheedy. I I adore oh. Ali Sheedy, but and although she was in Breakfast Club, she was definitely mm -hmm. you know that's an eighty staple. But yeah. Winona Ryder, we've seen her from little little, you know, tiny tiny person when she was younger. She did stuff when she was younger and stuff to like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna push Winona Ryder through. Yeah, man. Sorry, Sheedy. No, I Sheedy. I know Sheedy's she's in war games. Leaving her behind. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't move <laughs> it. Yet. Just. I plucked it. I didn't put it on. I plucked it. <sighs> it's like a chess piece. If you don't, if you don't, yes, let I, go. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't take my fingers off of Ryder. Come on, and man. Who's she going up doing? against? Elizabeth Shue. Yeah. And Ryder she wasn't versus Saint Shoe. Elmo's, right? She wasn't Saint Elmo's. That's right. Where Another was Demi one. Moore? Which side was Demi Moore on? Did He's I, on this side. I, did I push her forward? You did. Yeah, Moore beat out uh, Fisher, Kerry Fisher. Hold on. If I, if I Come on, man. Sheedy, it would be Ryder, Ali Sheedy make a decision here. No, hold on. Sheedy is... <laughs> Edward Scissorhands. I know, but, I, but Beetlejuice. Dracula. But Beetle, see, but what do I love more, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice or, or Johnny Star Five? Keaton. Did Sheedy ever start with Keaton? No. I love, I love me some Beetlejuice. <laughs> All right, we're not a writer. All right, I, I'm, I'm not trying to sway you. I'm just trying to. I know. All right, we did it. All right, so we're now in the semi. Do you need to take a drink of water? Water break? Bathroom break? What do you need? Oh, let's what do you keep need? Going. I got my water. Look, even subliminal. I got a, I got a Gremlins one box. You're just going to leave that there? Just leave that there. Just leave it there. Um. All right. Let's move forward. What, board, man. Where are we, dude? I forgot how to how to do a bracket. Now I did it last week, but I forgot. You did, we did the oh. preliminaries, then we did the semi. I don't know. I don't know. Finals, Doesn't matter. and now we're going. We're, into the... we're down to eight. Let's just say it, there were sixteen. We're down to eight. Down to eight. And we're gonna make it down to four. All right. All right. Let's go. Where Where, where are we at? Who, who, let's see who the strong suits are. We have Mia Sara, mm -hmm. uh, who beat out Kim Basinger, um, Kathleen Turner, who beat out Nicole Kidman. So Sarah versus Turner. Go. All right, here's the thing. Your parents have the gizmo. Is it yours or is it theirs? <laughs> oh, ah, Jen Jennifer Gray. That's okay. We're gonna. We have another bracket, dude. There's plenty more. I'm sure she was in there. I'm sure you got because you still have a whole no, couple of names. No, she didn't. She got. She got. She got cut. She got cut. We could do another bracket and then winners against winners, man. I know. We there's plenty. There's so many. We could do that. Holy yeah. man, Jennifer Gray. About. Yeah. Jennifer Gray. No, it's yeah. theirs. I didn't even know who it was when I first saw it. Oh, oh man. I loved Gizmo. I had the um the you know the hard the hard plastic gizmo. 
<laughs> and one of my dogs, we said a lot the, of dogs. One of my dogs oh, chewed off his paw. Nice. His hand, and it oh, was so did you angry. Gizmo has a paw. I never thought of it as a paw. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's a little paw, a little paw sure. hand. I don't know. All I right, Kathleen Turner versus Mia Sara. I was in love with Mia Sara when I was would, a kid. Would you say Stripe has, but, a, has a claw? That's a claw. A claw, yeah. Or he's got paw? Stripe a has paw. a claw. So the paw turns into a claw. Right. But the legs are just legs. Like Those humans. are just legs, yeah. Because if, if you're if you're bipedal, then you're le it's legs. It's you know. Yeah, well, but dogs a cat have has legs a paw. too. Dogs have paws. That's true, yeah. And Gizmo has a paw, really? He doesn't walk on it. Mm, it's because a little chubby thing. It's just some, you know. What about a kangaroo? Call it a paw? paw. It's a paw, yeah. Fist, because they punch. What about, a, what about a bear? That's a paw. A paw or a paw, claw? It's a clawed paw. How about a T-Rex? <laughs> That's a little baby claw. <laughs> a little baby claw? All right, let's get back oh, on track. Dude, dude, if you made, if you lived during the time of the dinosaurs, you would get eaten up by, by those arms, man. You're talking little tiny little baby arms, baby yeah, claws. Man. You would get torn to shreds by just his... He wouldn't even eat you. He would just tear you up with his little tiny if, arms. If if we didn't have a dino... If we didn't we have a, a skeleton... A but if we didn't have a skeleton of a T-Rex, would we even believe that that was a possible creature like what what that, what is the like, point dude, of that they put the wrong arms on there it's like they could never find the arms like every time they're like what's the deal <laughs> you know, i don't know we have arms? these little arms but this big body and these other arms don't go to anything so let's just do it anyway all right yeah. can we please get back to this yes i mia love sarah, mia sarah i love oh. mia sarah jessica rabbit but yeah i don't i don't know if i, I kind of maybe knew that uh um, years ago but take kathleen Turner, I, I cannot Kenny, confirm what kathleen who Turner. We're, mo we're moving Jessica Rabbit. Move it over. Come on. Really? Okay. Yeah, it's Kathleen Turner. Yeah. All right. Kathleen Turner's moving over. Yeah. Um, she's tough. She's tough she's... cookie. Tough no, cookie. No, no. When the tough get going, <laughs> the going get tough. Billy Ocean. All right. Come on. Quote yeah, from I Jewel of the Nile. Yeah. The I, I get it, Kathleen. I oh, get okay. it. Okay. Come on. Right. Leah Thompson beat out Whoopi Goldberg. Um, Debbie Moore beat out. Uh, Harry Fisher. All right, so it's Who's Thompson versus forward? Moore. Thompson, Guess Moore. we're doing Leah Thompson. Why? You're not even going to talk this one out. Leah Thompson. No, because one. Demi Moore, I, when I think, dude, Leah Thompson was just in a lot, a lot, like, better things for me. Come on, it's Leah Thompson. Come on, Back to the Future, Howard the Duck. Come on. Come on, Space Camp. Space Camp. What was it? She was. She started with Tom Cruise. Uh, yeah. Leah Thompson, Tom Cruise. Rebecca DeMornay is another one that didn't make it. Oh yeah, all the right moves. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Next. So, um, Molly oh, Ringwald. Side, here's a rough one. <laughs> Molly Ringwald beat out Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh, Meg Ryan beat out Jamie Gertz. So uh, Ringwald versus Ryan. Go. All right. Here's okay. Now this is rough. This where it starts to get a little crazy. Ringwald. Rough. Yeah. Ringwald. Yeah. This is quintessential. Is listen, quintessential eighties. Yes. Meg Ryan so transcends the 80s into the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. So when you talk legacy, mm -hmm. you got to talk to one with, with you got to talk about the actress who has the longer standing legacy, and that's going to be Meg Ryan. Sorry. It's Meg Ryan. Yeah. She's going. Okay. Meg yeah. Ryan's moving. That's Meg a, Ryan. I I wouldn't be surprised if these two, I mean, I understand they're in the same, you know, quadrant of the screen yeah uh but or of the board but um like i wouldn't like to see them show down at the end i think is substantial and yeah probably a little bit difficult all right so you have elizabeth shoe beat out phoebe cates um winona slide Rodgers it over slide it, over. slide it towards huh? the microphone slide it towards the microphone yeah. yeah there you go so you can do a little more too if you want what do you have yeah. it on anyway you gotta understand balance and and gravity and right. physics and whatnot yeah it's gonna just tip off. Molly Ringwald all day. Sorry, uh, D Dubs. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That I think that's a. I'm like I'm 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 glad I don't have to do this because I'm I don't know. Oh, that's but you will one. afterwards when you tell me what you thought. Now go ahead. That's What's a next? tough one because how many? T I mean, I guess Meg Ryan. I mean, she was in Inner Space. Mm hmm. Inner Space. She was in. Um, yeah, some, but probably but something with Kevin like, Costner. You can go back and be like, like The Breakfast Club is timeless. Yeah. Sixteen Candles. I've never seen. Um, what else? Would, what else? Would she uh, 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 what did I say? Uh, 
Oh my god, I'm compl- um uh wow. Breakfast Club Pretty in Pink. Wow. Pretty in Pink. Yeah, Pretty in Pink. I feel like those are just like Yeah, but you know, like D-Dub says he's basing it purely on the movies that they made in the 80s. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Miley Ringwald yeah. is Yeah. You know, <clears throat> it feels I'll okay, but but dude, I feel I feel like this this is a tough one. Okay. I think I, I ultimately probably would have given it to Ringwald. Yeah, but think I about like it. leaving well, her there is transcending. Kind of... We're not just like you got to like you know Meg Ryan transcends even. Yeah, but, the 80s. yeah, but remember this is this is the eighties quintessential eighties. I know, but I love Inner Space, guys. <laughs> Inner Space beats out everything. Okay, moving on. Elizabeth Shue versus who was that? I'll give you his address. So you can beat him. Yeah. Elizabeth Shue versus who? I can't read. I forget. Winona Ryder. Oh, Winona Ryder. <laughs> Jennifer Gregg wouldn't stand a chance. She, she would have started in the middle. So yeah, don't worry right. about that. Uh, we, had to, we had to fact. We had to do that. Kenny, 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 yeah. Kenny. What? You know what's happening, right? Shoe versus Ryder. Yeah, Karate Kid is going through. Yes. Yeah. Elizabeth Shoe is going through, and then yeah. guess what? Nothing. I don't know. I don't know what I'll you're wait. saying. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. Because I think I know what I want the end to be. <laughs> I might be I might be tweaking this a bit. No, you you have to go with your heart. I know what you're probably going to try to do is Thompson versus Shoe. So, <laughs> the both from Back to the Future. No, turn. Okay, so so uh, right, Turner got... beat out Sarah. Thompson beat out Moore. Turner versus Thompson. Go. Go. Talk it out. I Captain Turner. <sighs> when you go and get tough, you don't want to do it. I know you don't. I, I already saw it. I. We've already just said it. Like this is all right. Thompson and 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 Turner. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stall for a minute here. I really enjoy these are things you've never really thought about, and this was what's fun about doing this idea is that you never really <laughs> thought about Kathleen Turner versus Leah Thompson, and who who would you no, like better? You like, know, like an actual fight. Either. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh, Kathleen Turner would destroy Leah Thompson in a fight. Physical oh, fight? Oh, yeah, she would destroy but her. today? Uh, well, yeah, no. Today, Leah Thompson. But if they're in their prime, in their prime. <laughs> <They're prime. laughs> Kathleen Turner would destroy Leah Thompson. Yeah. All right. Uh, Leah Thompson. Okay, so, what, yeah, I got to push Thompson Limiter? because... I when it comes down to it, what movies did I enjoy more? You know what movies? You enjoyed Howard the Duck more than you enjoyed Romancing the Stone. Yes, actually, she's just drawn ah. that way. <laughs> I like it. Push Leah Thompson through. All right, there you go. Leah Thompson's going through. Nope. Look at that. See, this is this is. It's not working. Okay, there we go. All right, next. Meg, Meg Ryan. Ryan beat out Molly Ringwald. She's moving forward, or she moved forward. Elizabeth Shue beat out Winona Ryder. So here you go, Ryan versus Shue. What do you do? What are you doing, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? The, the thing is... The I thing mean, if is... Meg Ryan beat out Molly Ringwald, she can definitely beat out Elizabeth Shue. Elizabeth Shue was in that movie uh, Blackout. You remember that? Vaguely. It was a movie I think called. Was it called Blackout? You can you can it somebody. Was with, it was the first time I ever saw. Google it, someone. Um, <clears throat> the dude oh. from uh, from Merle, from The Walking Dead. Michael Rooker. Yeah, it was the first time I ever saw him. Sorry, Mike. he was in that movie and he was good. And I remember just watching that movie. I, I forget who else was in that movie. No, oh, don't worry. Someone will tell us. Um, Kyle. Mc, Mc, what is it? Meg his Ryan. Name? What's his name? Kyle McLaughlin? Kyle McLaughlin. Yeah. Who? Kyle McLaughlin? Uh, yeah, from Twin Peaks. Yeah. I don't know if he Sorry. was in there. All right. Well, let me. You can, you can continue to do that while I. Oh, no. The DeLorean's falling off the wall back there. It's always doing that. DeLorean. Um, I'd be a real big hypocrite if I didn't push Meg Ryan through. Not Miley, no. He say, say no. Um, Elizabeth Shue. I would blackout? be. I would be a right. I'd have to be a real big hypocrite if I didn't push Meg Ryan through. 
But you pushing it through or what? I really like. If I was to pick who I liked better, <laughs> I'd pick yeah. Shu. But again, like I said, Meg Ryan. That, oh, the trigger effect. That was it. The trigger effect. We okay. an awesome movie. All right, great. Now we've each, now we've each done a Googs yeah. during the show. That's it. We get one Googs during the show. That's I'm it. Moving. You've I'm done moving. it. Yeah, Michael Rooker played Gary. No. Gary. Oh, yeah, Kyle McLaughlin was in it. Ah! All right, good memory. See, I don't remember what the name year? of the movie, but I remembered he was in it. What year? 96. It's on HBO all the time. It's out of our weird out. It's out of, it's out of our wheelhouse, so. Watch it. It's a, good, it's, it's a decent movie. Um. Uh. So, yeah, Meg Ryan, Elizabeth Shue. I was saying, Going on. Jay, I was saying that yeah. I, if I had to choose who I liked better, I would say Elizabeth Shue. It was about a blackout. The trigger effect was about a blackout. Um, hmm. It's a Come tough on. one. What? Like I said, I, I feel like I'd be a hypocrite, if, a hypocrite if I did not push Meg Ryan through. Yeah. But is there a butt coming? A big butt? But like I said, but. What movies do I like better? Oh, but she's in Inner Space. I adore Inner Space. Yeah, but, yeah, but Inner Space, but you got the Karate Kid. I know, I know. You Trigger Effect. You have Cocktail. Heart and Souls. My, any day, all right, I, here's the thing. She's in, she's in The Boys. Yeah. I pick right? Elizabeth Shue What's over Meg, Meg, Meg Ryan. Ryan been in? I pick Elizabeth Shue over Meg Ryan all the time. Yeah. Like, I would, yeah. So you're picking her? Uh, yeah. The legacy, see? Elizabeth Shue. Yeah? Yeah, do it. Elizabeth Shue versus Leah Thompson. <laughs> and this is poetic justice because it's it's from Back to the Future. This is Back to the Future alumni. <laughs> head to Leah head. Leah Thompson. Now. Elizabeth Shue. Come on, man. Now. Who's the best? Anybody remember who won last week? Who won last week? Schwarzenegger. <sighs> last Sorry. last week. Well, let's not tell anybody. You can go ahead and watch it, but it yeah, was uh, Schwarzenegger versus Fox. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Michael J. Fox and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Wow, Back to the Future definitely. Yeah. Got in there. So back. To All right, Leah Thompson and Elizabeth Shue. Yeah. I kind of wanted this to be the, towards the end. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> engineer this this way. But you said before that you might. Want well, to. I saw that they that they could possibly, and then yeah. I remember, and then I saw who was up there and. I mean, I, I honestly, if you ask me, and I'm not going to tell you either way, um, which way, but I feel like it, it's 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 a no brainer. I mean, for you, it might be a little bit more of a you know a hurdle, but uh, yeah. do what you got to do. Yeah, rigged. rigged. <laughs> Darn right. <laughs> Darn right. Um, you got this. Damn it, though. Okay, here's this. all right. Here's the thing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 actually I'm actually shocked that he that he didn't push Ringwald through. I I only I, put I Meg thought Ryan I thought it was going to be a tough decision, I, but I figured '80s wise and just legacy wise, where you just think of the '80s and and whose face pops up. She's your probably 80s. and that's listen. If and there that's are two fine. or three faces that pop up, it's going to be <laughs> one that's of them is, is Molly Ringwald. I'm I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I honestly thought when it came down to it that it was going to be Thompson versus Ring, Ringwald. And if that was the case, I tell you right now, Thompson would have beat her out for me. Well, yeah, obviously. Because Ryan beat her out. <laughs> Durr. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're saying you know I mean? if it went down that way, she would have lost. So she wouldn't have been the winner anyway. So for me, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Anyway. Um, look, Ryan is just, she's just, ah, oh, man. I, she's got more. Molly Ringwald is in like three movies. Yeah. But Meg Ryan was like in all those movies with Tom Hanks. And if, if you can't, I mean, Tom Hanks got beat out last week by who you have to go watch. But I mean, look, all right, I'm not going to defend that. Yeah. It's now Elizabeth Shue versus Leah Thompson. Yeah. I love Elizabeth Shue. I always have. Adventures in uh -huh. Babysitting. But this is about, yeah, okay. Kid. Gotcha. I know. But I gotcha. Leah Thompson just. Oh, back to the future, man. You know, Howard the Duck, you know? Both of them. Well, no, technically. You know, you didn't do you didn't do Kim Cattrall either. 
See, you got to do more. We're doing another bracket. I know. Believe me. All right. We she got was, more brackets She was one coming. of them. We got, uh, listen, Kelly Kenny, Preston Kenny, didn't make it in. Say it right now. Had, Tell us we have more brackets coming because. Yeah, there, there will be more brackets right. and there will be more winners and everything like that. Okay. Um, Meryl Streep didn't make it in. Meryl, oh, my God. Meryl Streep. That's a good Meryl one, Streep. too. Um, Bette Midler didn't Bette make Midler? it in. Bette Midler? What about um, <laughs> Christy Hawn? Ha um, uh, uh, Goldie Hawn. Oh, my God. Oh, Goldie Hawn, yeah. That, you yep. got to have Goldie Hawn. didn't make it in. Yeah. And then I have other ones here that didn't make it. Yeah, don't tell us yet. No, 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 Let's 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 finish this. All right. The winner Come here. On. I'm trying to. I get. I got to distract you so you get a fresh fresh mind. I get. I get, already know who's winning. I already. Oh, Who is it? It's gonna be Leah Thompson. All right, Leah Thompson. I love Elizabeth Shue, but Leah Thompson is. Leah Thompson's the winner. Yeah. yeah. It's Leah Thompson. All right, Leah Thompson wins. It's Leah Thompson. She won. Um, Elizabeth Shoes is it, it was a, that's a tough one though because like again li, they're both just in some fantastic stuff. Yeah. But All right. um that's it. Leah Thompson. Yeah, that's it. She did it. All right, Kenny. <laughs> All right, Good now job. now's the time for everyone to tell me what they would have picked. So Kenny, start at the beginning. What would you have picked? Okay. So out of the two here, it probably would have been for me. Um what are I'll the names again? It. It's Basinger huh? versus you would have done Basinger. Yeah, I would have picked. I would have picked Basinger, and Sarah. here I would have picked. Okay. I would have picked Kidman. Kidman. Um, and then Basinger, Basinger Kidman. definitely would have won that one. I'm just doing that. Right. Thompson yeah. would have. Thompson would have. Yeah. Thompson. You would have put there. Thompson through. Okay. Yeah, but I would have. I would have. You know, it would have been down to uh, Fisher and Thompson. And Thompson would have went here. Okay. Yeah. No way. You would have had Ringwald. there. Right. Sure. Uh, sure. And then you would have you know pushed what? Elizabeth Shue. <laughs> She's just going to go right there. Oh, for real? Um, yeah, Ryder. She would have beat out Ryder. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Dude, I didn't I didn't do this one. Uh Oh. case of the shoe. You would have picked you would have chosen shoe. Say it. Karate Kid, man. You just that's why I said to you Karate Kid over Gremlins. You pick Karate yeah, I Kid. Guess, I guess so. I guess so. I guess that's a, that's a, I don't know. I'm glad I did. This is unofficial. I can't even, I can't even, nope, I can't, I can't, I can't, well, I can't do that. But it, this is the way it would end. And <laughs> then you the would have picked, end. huh? And you would have picked Leah Thompson. Oh, Chris, I don't know. I can't, I can't do say. it. I, do it. Guys in, in the chat, what would you have picked? You know, Thompson or Ringwald. I don't think I could pick. I yes, don't think I could you can. Can't back to the future. It's like choosing between my two cats. I can't Back do to it. the future. Oh, you pick Ravi every time because Kit's a Kit's a little bit of a, you know, she's got a. Come on. She's my spirit animal. Watch I know. Yourself. I know. I know. I'm uh, kidding. I know you'd pick yeah. Kit. I don't know, dude. Of course, you. I think you lost Kit. everybody. Look, everybody's everybody's done. They're mad at you. Ah oh, man. And I and I and and it is a mistake. I, I completely forgot about Jennifer Gray, and she would have been on there. I would have been Jennifer Gray. At, at the I last pushed, minute, I, I wouldn't have. Jennifer Gray, Jennifer Gray probably wouldn't have, you know. Yeah. Benson says, I mean, Thompson, I think I could make a case better actress than Ringwald, but is all that is 80s movies. But yeah, Molly was better in the 80s than Thompson. No, I don't think so. Leah Thompson was fantastic in Back to the Future, man. Those three movies, like. What the, about How the Duck? Well, come on, yeah, of course, I would. but that was like Basically. early on. But you know, Leah Thompson in the Back to the Future movies—you know how many characters she played? <laughs> like, she yeah. played so many versions of herself. It was anyway, fantastic. these these were ones that got cut. Uh, so Christy Swanson—that's a good one. Yep. Um, Christy Swanson and Sigourney Weaver—that's a good one. He got cut, and then uh, who do you got? Um, uh, Robin, Robin Wright. Wright. Okay, before she yeah. was Robin Wright Penn. I mean, I I did a lot of brainstorming. Um, well, don't get rid of those because you know. no, no, no. I know, I know. Um, and I already have it. I have this stuff. Written oh, you have written down, right? Okay. But um, I kind of like to tell you how like, I get to this stuff. I I, I came. I made a list like twenty something names, and I can only fit you know sixteen, 16 on the board. Right, right, yeah, true. You know, I mean, I guess I could make more or whatever. But Greg Gate. Um, <laughs> you know, so. After I got my list, I, I kind of went online and just, you know, 80s actresses or whatever. Yeah, right. And um, they come up, and that's when I'm like, oh, shoot, I got to swap this one out for this one because I forgot about that. That's a bigger name and everything so like you're that. Say, so you ranked them tell you, initially. My mind never yeah. went to uh, Jennifer Grey, which I'm. She never popped about. up? Then she didn't pop up on any searches, no, when I looked at this stuff. Okay, there. but here's. Because today, just today, Swanson was on there. Oh. Got okay. 
and Wright was on there, got switched to – who else did I say was on here? Sigourney Weaver. Oh, Sigourney – yeah, Weaver. She was on here just today. Sarah made it. Gertz made it. And Turner. Those were the three that got replaced. Yeah. And, uh, you know, because we were, we were shooting soon. So, uh, yeah, no, j- j- gosh. If Jennifer Gray was on here, she probably – well, she – no, because I can't, I can't even say that because she was ranked as a high, you know, um, you name. Two of them. And Sarah was ranked as a low name, right? Yeah. But if – I can't just say that I would have put, you know, Gray here, you know, because she would have been a bigger name. Why? You though? know? Why? I feel like Jennifer Grey is a bigger name than Mia Sara. Just a you know yeah, a bigger presence yes. of the Oh apes. yeah, oh yeah. But why? But what? But what? But what? Just in general, Jennifer Grey. We'll do what? An, we'll do another one. Believe me, I'm going to be doing. Yeah, these, these are movie okay. heavy. If you notice, uh, yeah. for a reason, because I'm also doing uh, shows. Yeah. Television. Jamie Gertz and Mia Sara. Okay, yeah. Go watch Solar Babies and Lost Boys. If you ever seen Lost Boys with Kiefer Sutherland and um. The court. Michael, what's his name again? Uh, uh, he's a good idiot. He's a, he's an, he's a B list eighties actor too. You got to put him in there. What's his name? Jason Patrick. Oh, Jason. You know from Lost Boys. Two control. Yeah. So anyway, hope right. you enjoyed it. Let's get that thumbnail. Oh, we get the thumbnail. Uh, bring it closer to you, and I have to be like, I'm gonna go like this. So I move my mic out of the way. This is. Yeah. Covered? Yeah, good, good. Good. All right, good. good All right, anyway, um, fun? All right, so, yeah, listen, that's going to do it for this bracket. Yeah. That was that was, that was was a little a little easier than the... I didn't care for Lost Boys either. I love the Lost Boys. That's one of my favorite movies. Care. Yeah, I love the Lost Boys. Um, hey, listen, I want to thank you, everybody, for watching and yeah. listening and everyone who showed up in the chat thank you very much I haven't seen you guys in a while good to see you hope you hope you were all doing well um as per usual if you want to get to us at do you even 80s bro and all those social areas uh don't hey don't be a stranger you know that's don't, all don't, I'm be. Saying. don't be yeah. a stranger you know uh so that's it Kenneth uh why don't you say an 80s thing to get us the heck out of here I'm it's I'm, gonna be something at Molly Ringwald isn't it no it's it's <laughs> It's going to be about Jennifer Grey because I oh. forgot about it and I feel really, really awful. Let me guess. Nobody puts baby change, in the corner. Have, would it have been what? Number no. one? No. <laughs> no. No. I, I would say probably – who's at the end on that thing? Molly Ringwald and, and – oh, gosh. Molly Ringwald and, and Leah Thompson. It probably, yeah, and yours. It probably would have been Leah Thompson because I enjoyed I her movies more I know. than I did Molly Ringwald movies. I didn't see – a Molly Ringwald movie until I was in college. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You know, Molly Ringwald uh, has like not saying that movies. that has anything to do like to give or take away from you know any credibility or anything. Yeah. But me personally, you know, like obviously it's subjective. Anybody who's sitting there, um, this is the longest yeah, outro we've ever had. Kid. I like that DW. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that's the eighties quote. Okay. Uh, but so I, I'd probably say Leah Thompson. Yeah, I know. I know. I've been telling you that all night. DW says I, I know, has. But, yeah, listen, DW's not even, got the closing not even so quote. much on Back to the Future, but just in general, I know. Just you don't know what a good movie is back in the day. The only, the first movie, like th- this is. I Chris, beg the difference. All right, Chris. I when I saw Transformers Chris, the movie, I knew what? that was a good you, movie. When you saw what? Transformers the movie. Oh, eighty six. I knew that was a come good on, movie. Come on. However, here's what I'm about to say. I watched Howard the Duck. I saw that Howard the Duck in the movie theater, and I saw it a lot of times on VHS. I saw it a lot of times on HBO. It was a movie. It was in the rotation. You right, know what I mean? Yeah. Like Empire, the Empire Strikes Back is in the rotation. Yeah. Star Wars is in the rotation. Um, the, okay, I keep talking about that stupid stuff, but a lot, a lot. You know, Back to the Future, mm-hmm. all that stuff, man. Um, all right, man. Okay. I, I don't, I don't know right. what to tell You're you. Okay. Anyway, You're okay. listen. It's this fine. is this is ultimately what I'm about to tell you. It was a good. It, it, it was enjoyable. It was a good movie, Howard the Duck. All right. The first okay. movie that I saw that that. Why I, are we ending like, this on Howard the Duck? Because I'm saying like not just based on Back to the Future. I don't want you to think anything like that. But <laughs> the first movie I saw. What's the first movie you saw that you were wait, like? That's a bad wait. Wait. Let me ask you a question. Because you, you like every movie. Hold on. Do you think we ended the episode yet? 
I don't like Howard the Duck now. No, we didn't. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Like, you know, yeah, we no, haven't we ended it. I've been trying to end this episode. This is stuff that I'm to, it doesn't matter. This is stuff that I need to talk about. <laughs> Listen, what, I, you don't. You like every movie you've seen. That Everyone. is not true. Yes. That was Name true. Name a bad movie. Okay, Name that, a bad movie. Hold on. That was true up until about probably what? Like my mid-20s probably? <laughs> what? Name a bad movie. Kenny, you've known me for... <laughs> and you hate nothing. Right. No, but I started hating movies. I'd probably say like maybe in my early, maybe my early. You like 30s. Chris? You like RoboCop two? I do like RoboCop two. I RoboCop two. I love RoboCop two. Here's here's what's funny. Irvin Kershner directed RoboCop two. Irvin yeah. Kershner also directed The Empire Strikes yeah, Back. Yeah, this is bonus the material Empire Strikes Back in the episode. Is one of the best movies ever made. Wait, say it again. Star Wars or science fiction or just movie in general. It is one of the best movies. He also directed RoboCop two, which I feel is one of the worst things i've ever seen all right you don't like it all right you don't like it's it. repulsive it's so bad and it's so funny to see a director go from that to that and it's just like it's 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 not even like oh it's passable it, it's just it's it's bad no, space it's invader movie. was the first movie i ever saw that i was like that movie was horrible what movie space invaders yeah it was a bad movie it was like remember that with like the, yeah, the rubber movie. puppet little alien things or something like that yeah name a bad movie come on um, all of the Transformers movies, the new ones. I'm talking about, yeah, well, yes. but Back the in the day, no, I can't name a bad movie back in the day. <laughs> I loved them all. They were they're fantastic. Love them all. And now when you look back at that, like Killer Clowns from Outer Space, that's a bad movie, but it's so but it's good. enjoyable. But it's enjoyable. so good. Dude, Troll, Leprechaun, horrible movies, but so good. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I loved everything because it was great. Listen, we have to end this episode. Do we? Do we? <laughs> it's just going to go forever. It's just going to go forever. Let me tell you about The Last Jedi. No, no, no. We're going to go now. Um, listen, thanks for watching, everyone. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye. I loathe The Last Jedi. Loathe it.